Hi kids. Here's a quick rundown of how to get a sound on your trombone mouthpiece. Okay. So first we have to form our lips, which is called the embouchure, or I call it the band face. All right. Cause it's easier to say. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, ah, mm. and when I say, mm, my lips are going to all form together. Watch again. I'll get closer. Ah, mm. All right. And the idea is there's 360 pressure all the way around the lips. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm staying relaxed, but all the way around here is nice and firm. Okay. Firm and compact. One thing that I like to think of is I'm not going to puff my cheeks and I'm going to try to point my chin so that it's, everything is flat right from here to here. So one thing I do to check that is I'll stick my finger out. I'll put it underneath my nose. I'll form my embouchure. And I'll try to see, is my whole finger touching my, the right from the bottom of my nose down to my chin? I'll get to the side and I'll show you. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will help. Uh, what, so, I mean, I'll show you what it might look like if it's wrong. So if I'm puckering my lips, puffing them out too much, we get, might get this. No, we don't want that. We want to be nice and firm, okay? Ah. Mm. Now, next, you might try what I call a free buzz, which is I'm going to blow a laser beam of air right down the middle of my lips, and I'm going to try to get it to buzz, okay? I'm going to try to go, ah, mm, and blow. Ah, mm. Yeah. Right? You can try that. Sometimes that's tricky for um for young kids, okay? So if you can't get that, we'll get it later. Don't worry about it. We'll make it easier to buzz when we hold the mouthpiece Remember, like I taught you, like a little flower. And we're going to first start by forming an embouchure and putting equal amounts of our upper and lower lip into the mouthpiece. Check it. Do this. Ah. Mm. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pressure. I am not jamming it into my, into my lips. I'm not. It's not too hard, okay? Just enough so that we form some suction so that when I blow, I get a buzz. So let's try that now. I'm going to show you a few buzzes that you might try um, and, and you practice these for about five minutes. And, and if you do this diligently once a day for five minutes or so, you'll get a good sound in the trombone because this is where the sound starts. All right. If we can get a good sound here, we'll get a good sound everywhere. Here we go. I'm going to show you. Here's my first buzz. I'm just going to try to hold it for a few minutes. Oh, I should say a few seconds. Ah. Uh, mm. Press my mouthpiece and blow. Right? Now, I might do that a few times. I might try to get a low sound by slowing down my air and opening up my throat. Try to get a low sound then. Right? Now, I'll try to get a high sound by firming my lips and speeding up my air. So I'll try that now. Here's a high sound. Ah, mm. ah. Right? All right, now you don't have to be perfect at these. If you can just get one sound, get one sound and try to get it to sound good. And we'll expand on that, okay? That's the beauty of this thing. Oh, we just gotta start, get the ball rolling, and then we expand our skills, okay? Here's a couple more ideas. One, I'm going to buzz like I'm going up a roller coaster. So I'm going to start low and I'm going to try to go high. Listen. And then you can try. You hear me go upwards. Now I'll do the same. I'll try to start high and I'll try to go down the roller coaster. So there's some things you might try. Thank you, kids. Have fun with it.